Welcome to LB Plants. My name is Elle and today we're doing a cash stuffing of my first check for January 2024. That sounds crazy to say out loud. Um, I will be cash stuffing a total of $1,500. I have my notes here. This is my budget. I will link the budget with me up above so you can kind of see how I got to this. I'm just going to move that just a little bit off to the side for right now. And some exciting news. So before we get started, I made some changes to my cash envelopes that I wanted to share with you on my cash envelope system. So basically in my annual savings binder, I changed the envelopes. Um, I fell into the simple aesthetic. So we're getting rid of these purple, but no sweat. If I want to see purple again, I will see purple again. Let me zoom you guys out just a little bit. There you go. All right, so I made some aesthetically pleasing. Hopefully they are in order because I did not check. Let me check. They are, they are in alphabetical order. Um, but I, I did upgrade these. I didn't, you know, have some questions about some of my envelopes. So let's go ahead and just move what was in over. So anniversary was empty. Back to school's empty. Blue, green. But yeah, it was just, I was feeling the simplicity look. Um, these envelopes kind of gave me some trouble. Hopefully they behave. If not, then I'll be redoing them again. But yeah, hopefully all is well here. Uh, car insurance, just have placeholders and that's coming up due very, very soon. All right, car maintenance which I assume will be depleted very soon. Right now it is 250, that's four, is that 400? Yeah, but that's the smallest that I have in the denominations for the placeholders. It's cute, I like the minimalistic vibe of it. I can, I can dig it. But if I need some more color, I will go back to these. So I hope you guys had a blessed holiday season. I was going to upload a video over the holidays, but your girl was just tired. Like it made no sense on how tired I was. Um, I think I have a savings envelope or did I get rid of it all in general? Now I can't remember. Let's move that off to the side for a second. Um, Carmen is Christmas. HOA is now empty. Yeah, like I took the day after Christmas and I just rested. I didn't think about anything else. Like I just wanted to not hear people's voices. <laughs> so other than that, I am, I would say fully rested now and, you know, getting back into the swing of things. That's property taxes, which is not enough, but 205. Really, that's my shit happens. Sapphire fee. That's 20 in it. So I wanted to be more intentional about my categories um, going forward. Subscriptions, I do want to keep this little comment about subscriptions, but I don't have a subscriptions. That's right, because I have a month ahead, okay. And these are all gone. So I did get rid of my general savings, um, my emergency fund savings. I guess I felt like it was redundant to have it because um, I don't really save towards it. And it just sits in my high yield savings account. And so I did get rid of some of the other categories. But yeah, I'm just making sure I didn't leave it out anywhere and I didn't so we'll be putting this up I know that I have 10,000 in there it's fine I don't need to see it because I typically don't stuff for emergency funds um my emergency fund is actually funded from my bonus which is another conversation for another day so let's get these out the way put them over here for now all right, so let's get started. So um, cash stuffing our cash envelopes first. That is in my black Kate Spade. 
binder. And so I know I have sinking funds, but mainly in here is my cash envelopes. But oh, let me, before I get started, that's why I have my wallet actually out here so I could remember. Um, I do have leftovers in my wallet. I don't know if I ever shared you guys, but in my wallet, these are typically the only thing that I may have cash for grocery, eating out and spending. Um, so I kind of keep these little tabs in there. I do have $45 left in grocery. I'm going to roll it over and leave it in here for now, just because, um, new year's. So I'm pretty sure we're going to cook a new year's dinner and I want to keep that in there. So that's that. So I can put my wallet up. Okay. Now, as for this, um, these were my ones that were kind of accumulating um, from spending. And so uh, there's extra $12 in here because my uh, mother-in-law gave us a lottery ticket scratch off for Christmas and we won like $25. So I split it with my husband. So I gave him 13 because since it was his mother, he can get the higher end. And, and I took 12. So um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, plus 15 is 31. So I'm actually gonna add this $31 to the savings challenges. I don't wanna confuse myself, but it should be left over at the end regardless. So you guys remind me that that $31 is here. So, all right, <clears throat> let's just get right into it. Um, we can start with Costco's. So Costco's get 75, which is 25. Yep. And I believe Costco's is empty. Let me update my tracker because we spent everything for Costco's. I should have updated my trackers beforehand. I've tried not to make these videos so long because um, even my patience runs thin. Okay, so clothing has 70 in it. I don't got uh, 80 in it, excuse me. I don't know if you guys remember when I reallocated my savings challenges for the end of the year. I'll link it up above. I originally put $100 in here, but I did some extra spending. I should have gave myself more spending money than clothing money, so I just took it from out of here. All right, eating out. Eating out will get 150 we increased that because it was the holiday season and we I wasn't going to cook multiple times. So now it has 150 in there. Um, fun stuff. Fun stuff gets 25 and I believe, yep, I need a marker for that one. Fun stuff gets 25, so it should now be 35 and fun stuff. So I'm sure we'll find some things to get into um, in these next two weeks. Gas, 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 gas. So since the gas was working out, normally I fill like certain envelopes, cash envelopes once a month, but I just felt like it was working out. Um, With separating it by paycheck, I decided to separate a couple more categories that way. Let me see what my denominations that I chose for gas. Okay. Yeah, I chose lower bills because gas kind of went down, um, which I appreciate it. But um, those the 150, there was just too many instances of waiting 40, 60 for that money um, for that check, which was always the 15th check to hit to fill that in. So I'm just going to be a little bit more intentional on how I cash stuff and making sure that I'm not, you know, going to the extreme of waiting um, when I could just, you know, split up how I do it in general. Okay, so grocery, grocery is getting 300. That has went down. It typically was um, 
Okay, I apologize for that. That was uh, very weird. All right, um, grocery. Grocery is 250. I've made a change to this one. I don't know how much actually got recorded, but um, I did make a change to this category and brought it down. And, and so I moved the $50 basically from eating out to grocery. So let's see that's 51, 52, 250, 70, 90, 300. That's what I said, right? Yeah, it even sounds weird to me. Plus the 45 that I have left over and that should be more than enough. Okay, so grooming. Grooming is um, a category that I decided to split up going forward. So for grooming, I am putting in $50. I guess I can do a whole 50. 120.35. I was debating that I wanted to break that up any smaller, but um, it's not necessarily my son's hair. Um, cut more than it is my daughter's. I think when I do my next cash stuffing, I'm going to break that 50 up a little bit more. Um, household. Household is now going to be uh, every check. So now we're going to add in. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're gonna add in 50, so that should make it 110. I'm just curious if I want to split this up or not. I, I, don't, I, I don't think I am gonna split it up just yet um, because there are things that we do need to buy, um, start to stock back up on. So mainly like laundry detergent and things like that. Okay, personal, personal is not getting anything. and. I had like put money in there from, and I had to, I, I spent it. I don't, don't worry about it. Um, did I give myself money for personal spend? I sure did. Why am I depriving myself? I got to work on that. I did 12, 31. I am splitting that up. So normally for personal spending, I do 150. So I'm splitting it up 75, 75, but um, I typically take, only put 90 actually in spending, spending in that envelope. And then I put 30 in planner stuff and 30 in self care. Um, but on this go around, I'm just gonna put the full 75 in here. And then I'll put the other 15 in here on the next check and then put the other two in the other categories. All right, nothing in planner supplies for right now. Projects, nothing. Self-care has money in it. I think it has 50. All right, and the munchkin. So let's start with Mr. Caleb. He get his 15. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Eighty. He is not pleased with me because we did not do the um, Amazon Flex like I wanted to do with him so he could earn money for his uh, field trip. But I just didn't want to do it. So that's seventy dollars, and so um, and like I told him, it was a whole lot more responsibility than what it seems like. And real talk, I just kind of gotten away from doing that and to. To do it again just didn't feel right in my spirit so i didn't do it and i'm okay with that for miss zoe she gets hers so she actually spent some money so hopefully i said all that to say is that that money can go for his spending for his field trip in july in january so 20 40 60 70. how do they have the same amount that's not right 20 40 50 60 70. That is going to irk my soul because how do they have the same amount? Did he have 70 or did he have 80? 20, 40, 60, 70. I guess somebody played catch up. I don't know. All right. And then Lainey, normally I don't, <laughs> I don't feel uh, stuff his envelope, but he did contribute. 
$40 to his tolls. So I'm going to leave that in here until I get ready to pay tolls. We're not adding anything for spring break or vacation month ahead. I do want to start contributing to this to get a month ahead on my bills, but I'm not in a rush to get to that point. So slow and steady. So I will, will be putting $25 in here. All right, and those are my cash envelopes that are now stuffed. Smooth that out the way. Let's go to the annual items, which I guess for me would be more sinking funds than the other, but these are annual sinking funds. They are one, one time, once, whatever. They come once a year, basically. So anniversaries get nothing. Back to school, I haven't started on that. Blue green, blue green gets 15. Lord, we need to sell this timeshare. It is just annoying to me. All right, so blue green has 60, 75 in it. So trying to build that back up. Okay, blue green. Car insurance, I'm not adding anything to car insurance. Car maintenance gets its 25. That makes me have 425. It's okay. As I said, my son, um, as I shared, my son was um, in a, well, a single car accident. Some Something flew off the back of a truck and while he was on the turnpike and he could not dodge it. Um, so it messed up his car. So we have a, the car in the truck did not stop. So we have a $500 deductible. So, you know, that's why we do it. All right. Christmas gets nothing just yet. H O A nothing right now. We'll start saving for that off the next check. Property insurance. Oh, I got to start on that. <laughs> that I'm thinking about. I got to start on that. Property taxes is not getting anything. Uh, really, is that my miscellaneous? Or was miscellaneous in the other one? Let's see. So I will be putting in um, 10 bucks for really. Just for unexpected stuff. And hopefully we can grow that into a buffer sapphire fee sapphire fee gets ten dollars oops i'm throwing money now okay so that's 30 in the sapphire fee it is 95 dollars, but it's not due till april so we'll get there i hate that but it bends unbend yourself okay okay Termite my God, I got to start on that because that's in June. Okay, birthdays. So I am putting uh, $45 to birthdays. Um, it's first quarter birthdays. So everyone is getting 15. Um, and so... Oh, <laughs> these are mixed up, but I'm not, I'm not going to... Trip. Okay, so for my niece, I will be putting 15 into hers. All right. My mom, she'll be getting 15 into hers. And then my daughter will be getting... Uh, 15 into her so those are my first quarter birthdays so all right and holidays I am putting $50 in holidays for Valentine's Day and then I still have my money for New Year's and which I need to get up very quickly and go back to get cards. So don't tell nobody. I haven't did it yet. Okay. And so that should leave the saving challenges. But nope, I got to do the class of first. Okay. Class of, class of, class of. Um. <clears throat> so 
So I will be doing my cashback rewards into 2024. So I will, and, and my goal is to accumulate whatever my cashback rewards, Rakuten, Visa, whatever, settlement things, whatever, um, to accumulate it for the whole year. We'll get to the 80 envelope challenge. The 365 challenge will be changing, so I will be taking that off. Um, and we'll be doing the dollar challenge in here, but... Oh, LB Plans gets $15. That's a hidden right? I almost forgot about that. Yep. Um, okay, so class of 2025. Okay, so he is going to get $20. I just, in my right mind, I just can't do that. So now he has 150. So we're gonna try to focus on class of 2025 a little bit more and try to up up what I do in the other ones as well. All right. Um, this one gets class of 2027, gets 15. So now he has 145 and Delaney has 150. It's the separation, right? And then I have to create the vinyl for Miss Class of 2031 because <laughs> she shall not be left out. Even though she's kind of behind the power curve, I shall not left her out. Plus things will probably be hellified expensive by then. So, all right, and she's getting 10 bucks. I just can't do that. It's just, I have to consolidate as I go. So she got her first $30 from the um, cashback rewards and the dollar savings challenge. I put 30 in each of their envelopes. So I wanted to include her in the fun. Oh, it's a sticky note. So it's sticking to it. Got it. Okay, boom. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go back. So first thing is first. For the... Penny challenge, I am completing that, and that's gonna be two hundred and fifty-two dollars. So two hundred. I done used all those fifties. <laughs> and fifty one fifty-two. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in here. I went ahead and calculated up all of my blank spaces. All of this money is just gonna get unstuffed and go into the um, property taxes um, savings. So one, two, three, four, five, fifty, six, fifty, seventy-two. That's six seventy-two. Um, that will be going to my property taxes. So I will swap that out later, just not right now. So let me go ahead and I went ahead and pulled it out of my old binder. So um, I will do this again, just not right now. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and finish it just because I felt like I needed to finish it. Um, it's just a thing of mine. If you start something, you should finish it. So let's color these in. Okay. So with this, you're supposed to save $667.95. I saved $672. Um, if you guys want to give this a try, I would say check out um, Beautiful Me and You here on YouTube. Uh, Salisa, she offers this as a freebie. And you can, like, I printed this, I reduced this down to A5 size, and then I just kind of punched it for it to go um, in my spiral book. But... <clears throat> and I'm just going to keep it in here for now. But when I do it again, I'm going to tip it into my bullet journal. 
um, or my Wonderland 222. I'm going to just tip it into the budgeting section. But like, like I said, I'm right now, I'm really focused on one property taxes. So any uh, money that I receive, I am taking that money and I am putting it in my, um, uh, prop, I'm doing the 80 envelope challenge with it. So, cause that's also going to property taxes. So speaking of 80 envelope challenge, I should have $138. Let's see. Okay. So let's see, I have 125, six, seven, eight. So I am missing $10. We'll figure that out. Plus I'm adding this money in here. So that's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So that's 131. No, that's 31 plus 128 is 159. It should be 169. Let me see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure you guys can find where I made my mistake. Um, but somehow I am $10 short. But it is okay. I will find it. Okay. <clears throat> so I thought long and hard about how I wanted to complete this. And this is what I came up with. <laughs> I want to complete some rows. Okay, I can't use none of these markers, so let's get rid of them. I want to use the purple one and the teal one today. And another one. Okay, so I want to I want to clear out some boxes here. So um which one? I like want to finish the rows. That makes sense. So 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 50. That's 170. I do not have 170. So I can't do that one. 15 plus 25 plus 35 plus 45 plus 55 is 175. Ain't that something? That's even more. Okay. Let's do what I can. 55 plus 45 plus 35. That's 160. I had 159 and that's 160. Let's do it. So, because I'll just get a dollar. So 169, I know that there's a $10 missing somewhere and whenever I find it, I'll just cover it, color in the missing um, $10. But remember how I said I had this extra? So here's a five. And there's four. Won't even miss it. Okay. So 160. I'll find that ten dollars. Um, I'll check the comments though, because you guys probably will find it a whole lot faster than I will. And we'll just go from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments or help for me, drop it down below. Until my next video, you guys take care, stay blessed, and be safe. Bye. Thank you.